I bet many have not given much thought to the fact that we have 10 weeks before the end of 2021. I do not think there's anyone that anticipated the struggles of 2020 would continue on into this year and then, at least in our area, be compounded with 2021 problems. COVID, societal struggles, and then Hurricane Ida has made life difficult for so many. These issues on top of the fact that people are still battling for life issues that have always been around. Things like marriage strife, raising children, job difficulties, regular sick, yes, this still exists. Loss of loved ones to death, and the list goes on. In scripture, there's a statement made multiple times, but we often overlook its importance. It is two words that should cause us to pause and consider. The two words are, but God. We see it in the very first book of the Bible after the terrible flood that covered the earth and everyone outside of the ark that Noah built died. There, Noah and his family with all the livestock were stuck on this boat and you can imagine what was going through their minds. I'm sure they looked out and probably thought, now what? Then chapter eight of Genesis begins with these words. Genesis 8, 1 says, But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and livestock with him in the boat. He sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the floodwaters began to recede. It's found in Genesis 8, 1. Here we see God reminding us that the world was in chaos and destroyed, but God stepped in and took care of his people. Someone is watching this or reading this, and you need to be reminded of, but God. Life is tough, trust me. I've been there, and quite frankly, I am currently there. But God reminds me every day through His Word, through others, and even more intimately, through His Spirit, that He is in control and will guide me through the floods of this world. So be encouraged. I want to invite you to join us this weekend for a fantastic weekend of worship. We will continue our sermon series, Written in Stone, as we move through the Ten Commandments. Our focus will be helping us better appreciate our parents and being better parents to glorify God. We will also have a child blessing at the conclusion of our service, which is always an awesome time for our church family. On Sunday, October the 31st, we'll have an incredible service lined up as we will be live streaming a very special guest, Nick Vujicic, as he talks with us about obstacles equaling opportunities. I promise that this will be a message that will challenge and or change your life. I cannot wait for us to gather to hear this at all of our campuses. Our children will also be having their princess and superhero party that day during the service. We would ask that your kids come in a non-scary costume and enjoy learning about the love of Jesus. I always want to help you understand where we are when it comes to our campus finances. As a campus, we have struggled for much of our existence. Our campus really needs to be between four to $5,000 a week to be able to not just pay the basic bills, but also provide some incredible opportunities for outreach. Currently, we average around $2,000 a week, and we are grateful for the assistance that we receive from Celebration as a whole. That helps us to keep going. I realize that for many, the storm and COVID have complicated your finances. I wanna thank those that have been faithful through this difficult season of life, but I wanna ask everyone to pray about what giving means to you. With the devastation of the West Bank, River Parish, and our Kinder campuses, it has brought about a strain on attendance church-wide as well as giving. I want to tell you that if 70 people gave $58 a week, we would surpass the $4,000 mark. Most people don't realize that the little bit they do makes a big difference in what we can do. Think about it this way. Someone else giving you, giving has allowed you to receive a seat to sit in, AC or heat to take a break from the outside, the ability to watch our services and Bible studies online by way of streaming, for those with kids to have a break from them to focus on your spiritual needs, 
hot coffee to give you a perk up in the morning when you get here, and so much more. If you have received because someone else gives, why not give so that someone else can receive? Think about it. If you would like to give today, you can go to webcc.info and click on the Give Online link. Choose Mandeville Covington Campus and then begin the process. It is really that simple. And of course, you can always give in our services. If you want to keep up with our latest events and news, as well as watch our live services, you can join our Facebook group. You can visit us at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash celebration MCC. We would also like to ask you to join our text message program. This will give you the ability to get quick updates and reminders that we send out each week. You can click on the link provided in this email, or you can take out your phone, go to your message app, and you can text at CCMC1 to the number 81010. If you'd like to be part of our past Bible studies and future Bible studies, etc., that we have done at MCC, you can go to our YouTube channel. You can find it at www.youtube.com forward slash celebration MCC. I want to finish by saying thank you for allowing me to pastor you here at Mandeville Covenant Campus. It is an honor to be able to not just teach the Word of God, but to be able to walk with you through difficult times. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.